Hello, my little gravy boats. I have a lot of big plans to share with you. So, uh, let's get into it, shall we? All right, so I have a few things that I wish to discuss with you guys. The first being, I think what we're going to make this place is basically a custom village because I have some bigger plans for a main base. I don't want to give it away outright, but it involves green fire and a castle and a dragon. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm thinking that what we're going to do is just make this a custom village. We'll transport all of our villagers from over there to here. I'll build them all nice little houses. It's going to be great. And then we will move on to main base plans. So, we are going to have to find a place for a main base. Um, I do want to do the village thing first. And the village isn't that far away, so it shouldn't be hard to transport them. And I'm not quite sure how many I want. And, oh yeah, great. Yeah, I think I cut it out for the last video that I did on here, but my previous account was, I guess, jacked. <laughs> and I couldn't get it back until just the other day. So I had to make a new one. And yeah, now I'm getting all of these achievements that, uh... I had already had. Yeah, this village isn't far, so it won't be hard to transport all of them over. And I think they'll definitely be getting an upgrade with housing. They're gonna go from from this to uh, houses like this. So I'd say that's a definite uh, upgrade. So what we're gonna have to do is start harvesting all of these trees, planting a ton more, and mapping out where it is we want to place all of our other houses. I'm going to get started on that and seeing how many houses we want to have exactly. We could probably fit a few villagers in each one depending how big they are. I do want to make them varying sizes just to be a bit more realistic. But yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna map it out and we'll see what happens. So I will go do that and then I'll be back with you guys here... I guess in a second in your time. <laughs> Okay guys, I think I have all of the houses laid out, so I think what we could do is just go into Spectator and I can show you guys what we've got going on. So this can be, I guess, like a mayor's kind of house, because it's got the tower. I don't know why I think tower equals power. Aha! Okay, we're done. <laughs> uh, but this is the first layout right here. And then there's this one over here. I did mark the door frames as well so that I know where it's going to open up at. I didn't do it with this one for some reason. I don't know. But we have this similar layout over here. I thought it could open up in two spots. Um, I'm probably going to do it the same with this one because that influences where the roof starts. And then this one over here is just going to be like a simple little one. Kind of like a little shack that holds all of their crops. We're going to have a little farm area on the side here and then on the inside i'm thinking some chests to hold seeds and stuff like that and then on this side i didn't mark this one's door frames either <laughs> but we've got another one of these three square things <laughs> i don't know what to call it but yeah we've got this here and then there's one like this over here and then another one of these ones here um i probably will add another door frame like, probably on this side. But yeah, I'm thinking kind of, it's kind of like in a circular shape-ish. <laughs> but I didn't want to make it too, too big and spread out. I think this is going to be good. Uh, besides getting this stuff started, because I don't think there's any way that I'm going to be able to finish every single one of these houses in this episode. But I definitely want to get them started. And then the other thing that I want to try and work on is a creeper farm. Since we do have an Elytra... Uh, we're gonna need some rockets so we can fly where we can't take our dragon, like other dimensions and stuff like that. I'm actually really excited to get into some other dimensions, because the only ones we've been to are the nether and the end. But there's a few others which seem really cool. So I want to try and find a place to put the creeper farm. I'm thinking we'll probably put it around this area somewhere, maybe... I want to put it over like an ocean or something like that, I think. So I'm going to go take a fly on the dragon, I think, to see if we can find a good spot. 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good spot. Right over the ocean here somewhere. I think we could probably set up base stuff for making this right over here. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go back, get some stuffs. Should probably see if I can make a marker for this location, although it's really close, I don't need to, so ignore that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go get the stuff that is necessary, and then we can start uh, making this creeper farm. And also, what that- oh, pillagers. We're gonna not go over there. I'm gonna get the stuff and then we'll meet over there, okay, cool? Okay guys, so the list for this creeper farm is quite extensive, so we're down here in the mine just gathering up a bunch of stuff. I'll leave the link of the creeper farm that I'm using down in the description as well in case any of you guys need it or wanted to look at it, whichever. But yeah, I'm going to continue doing this and then hopefully the next thing you guys see is going to be me making this thing. Okay, so I was just reminded, this block here, Deep Dark Dimension Stack, that takes you to the Deep Dark, which is a tad bit scary. But it is one of the dimensions here, and there's a lot of cool things that you can find there as well. Over on um, my Twitch, I have a uh, Better Minecraft server that I play on with a couple other people, and we went into the Deep Dark. And I got some blocks that I'm using in the house that I'm building on there. So, yeah. At some point we'll go there. I don't know when. But I just thought that I'd show you guys while it was on my mind. <laughs> and before I forgot about it. So, yeah. Uh, back to more mining. I need to get an Enderman farm up pretty soon as well. We gotta get this this stuff crackalacking. Okay, guys. I have everything that we're going to need. So, as you can see, it's... Showing me when I shift what is inside here. <laughs> That's interesting. I did not know that. But we've got all of the materials in this one here. I fell off the platform. <laughs> all the materials in here. Plus all of the stuff here in my backpack. So we have everything we need. Right over there is where we're going to start building the creeper farm. Kind of not looking forward to this. Based on the tutorial that I watched... It's not going to be too, too difficult. It's just kind of repetitive. But yeah, um, let's do this. Ready, set, go. Okay, guys. She done. <laughs> that took quite a while, I must say. But it's absolutely finished. And I've also got this nice elevator to take us to the top where the lever is to turn the farm on and off. Here are our collection chests. I'm going to go head up to the top and then I will show you guys what's going on up there. Okay, so up there is where our AFK platform is. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go up there, set a timer. It's dinner time for me, so I'm going to go eat <laughs> and then clean up some stuff. So while I'm doing that, I'll have the timer set to see how long I was gone for. And we'll see how much gunpowder we get in that time. Okay, guys, we are up here. I'm going to set my timer starting right now. Okay guys, so I took this screenshot at 7.20 p.m. and the timer was at a minute and 37 seconds. And then I took the screenshot of when it ended. It was at an hour and almost seven minutes at 8.25 p.m. All right guys, had my lasagna. Put the kids to bed. Now it's time to see what we got. And I'm quite disappointed. <laughs> I put it all in this chest and we got a stack plus one in a little over an hour. Why? I don't understand. I really don't. I thought this was supposed to produce like, I think the tutorial said 2300 an hour. And that's literally, that's it. So I'm not quite sure what the issue is. I mean, we have soul campfires up there. I don't know, they, they aren't burning, right? I did check beforehand to make sure that everything was good. All of the platforms had the water running down i was at the right height i don't know i don't know what the issue is if anybody knows please let me know <laughs> because i thought with this farm that we would be set for a while but it looks like it's going to take forever and a half just to get a good supply of rockets i don't know guys if you know anything about it please let me know so that i can try and fix it <laughs> But that's going to be it for me. Uh, but yeah, if you guys liked it, please demolish the like button. Gently. 
And if you wish to as well, you can subscribe and become a little gravy boat. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!